Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Colourpop Spring Collection. To be 100% completely honest, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is one of the prettiest collections um, that Colourpop has ever launched. Like the packaging, the colours in this collection, the products, like everything is just so, so nice. So yeah, we're going to be going through all of the products that are part of the collection. I'm going to show you all the shades um, and then we're going to test them out on my face and see whether or not it's actually worth your money. Hopefully it is because if I'm disappointed by these, I'm going to be heartbroken because the packaging is like literally the most beautiful thing ever. So yeah. If you are keen on checking out some new ColourPop products, then please stick around. All right, so this collection does have quite a few different products in it. Quite a few. First up, I mean, everybody's going to be most excited about this one. The Sweet Talk. Um, this is a pressed powder palette. It's a new eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. It's such beautiful packaging. It's got like roses and like little reflective parts. Like it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got four, eight, 12 colors um, in this palette. And that is what the actual external part of the palette looks like. It really is so pretty. As far as pricing goes, this one will set you back 18 US dollars. <gasps> oh my god, it's even prettier in person than it was online. Stop! Look at this. I mean, can we just take a minute and sit down and just really appreciate it? It's got glitter in it. <laughs> so this is a palette that's pretty much got all, you know, coral, warm, spring type tones. And um, there are straight up pressed glitters. To be honest, the formula of those kind of looks a little bit similar to the formula that was in the... um. Oh, Huda Beauty palette. So it's kind of like a pressed glitter. We've got matte shades here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matte shades. Then we've got like straight up shimmer shades. And then these are like literally ridiculous. Prima Drama Early Morning. Probably fair to say side to side are all straight up pressed glitters. Like oh, doesn't say anything about the formula on the packaging. Let's have a little look online. Okay, so there's four different formulas in this one. So you've got your pressed glitters, the ones that we spoke about. Oh, they've got super shock shadows in here. That must be the side to side and garden date maybe. Um, then you've got uh, mattes and then you've got metallic shimmers. <gasps> Cannot wait to try this. Also, as far as shadows go, um, as part of this collection, there are a bunch of these new shadows. These are called the Jelly Mudge Shadows. Um, this will be my first time trying them today, but they sound incredible. Basically, um, the idea is that it's like a liquid shadow that dries down to a powder finish that's crease proof that's smudge proof and that has no fallout so um there are a bunch of these in the collection and i mean still the packaging is so pretty like there's all these flowers all over it oh and it says you're a babe on the side gee thanks color pop so kind also got the sweet talk luxe lipstick so there are six shades um that have launched as part of the collection and i will of course show you swatches of everything guys so don't worry you're gonna see it all um i can't tell if this is different to the regular Lux formulation. Let's have a little look. Uh, it seems like it's the same formula from what I can tell online. Um, hydrating butters, creamy long wearing lipstick glides on the lips with rich pigmentation in a comfy lightweight formula. Yeah, it's the same formula as their regular Lux lipsticks, but um, this is like the Sweet Talk collection, I guess. And then finally, Sweet Lord. There's a whole lot of blush. <laughs> This is insane. So this is the You Make Us Blush. You Make Us Blush Super Shock Blush Set. Now, I'm pretty sure this includes the new spring shades. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the new products in the spring collection, guys. Let's jump into swatches and actually testing these out and seeing if they're actually worth it. Honestly, fingers crossed. I'm just going to be so sad because the packaging and the color scheme, I'm like, ugh. We'll see. So we're first going to start out by testing the Sweet Talk eyeshadow palette. I will show you um, swatches of the palette now. And then we're going to jump into actually testing this out on my eyes. There are so many different formulas. Like, I'm really intrigued to see exactly how this goes. So along the top here, we've got like a pale matte pink, a really pretty shimmery pink, a kind of coral gold shimmer kind of a color, um, a tan, a pink pressed glitter, a coral, a gold pressed glitter, a brighter matte pink, a terracotta matte, a shimmery warmer tone gold, a matte brown, and then finally a matte plum color. Lots of really pretty spring shades, but definitely, you know, very specific as far as color families go. Um, there's definitely some very specific shades in this one. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to start creating a look now. And I do want to test these jelly much shadows as well, though. So... 
Yes, we may have to, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So first up, I'm gonna go in with Dream Maker. This is a matte pink. Looks very, very, very pretty. Quite a lot of pigmentation. Oh, it kind of looks a little bit more orangey on the brush, doesn't it? I'm gonna work that one through the crease. Whoa, okay. That's quite neon. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad. Like, I love colors like that. But just bear in mind, it is quite a neon shade. Oh, is this going to match the backdrop? <laughs> like I planned it. <laughs> so buffing that through the crease. It is blending really well. Um, there's certainly, you know, a decent amount of opacity to that shadow. There's certainly a lot of color payoff. It is a very beautiful fluoro. It's sort of more of like a coral than a pink, I would say. Um, you can definitely apply it like with a soft hand too. Like see the difference between the two? With a soft hand, like it's much more, you know, I guess like less fluoro. Taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to take Icy Me. I'm not really sure how that one's pronounced, but this tan color here. Just on a much smaller, ooh, that's a beautiful color as well. The colors in this are quite different. Just on a smaller brush and I'm going to pack that sort of a little in the outer corner. And also through the crease. This palette does remind me of the Huda Beauty New Nudes. It's got like all these pink tones. Um, you know, it's quite similar to that one. Oh, now we're getting a little bit of intensity happening. Hello. I'm not mad at all about that. All right, so we've really added that color, really, really packed it on. Now I have had troubles in the past with um, deep dark shades from ColourPop being quite patchy, quite difficult to blend. So I am going to be testing out um, this deep maroon shade. This is called Feel Free. We definitely, we got a history here. I mean, this one's sort of more red toned um, than super, super deep, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to, I mean, the only place I can really do this is the outer corner. Pack it on first with a brush. Little bit of fallout with this one, but not, you know, huge amounts. And then we'll buff the edges and see what happens. Oh, unfortunately, it is doing um, the same thing that I have had issues with with ColourPop shadows. See how when I've like, in, Literally, I touched my brush on there for only two seconds and see how there's like a patch of eyeshadow missing in the middle. This is what they do. They go kind of patchy. I mean, it is workable. Um, a way around it is to blend through the crease first or apply to the lid, then blend and then repack on the lid. Um, it is something to be aware of, though. I have come across this with other palettes from ColourPop doing the same thing. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Let's try blending it with it first and then we'll come through and pack on this side and see if we can't get a better result. Like they're not horrible to blend. Um, they do blend out. They just go quite patchy and even I find, you know, when a shadow performs like this on application, usually you'll find during the day as you're blinking and moving and laughing and things like that, um, as you move your eyes, the patchiness will redevelop later on during the day. It's, it's not ideal, but it's blended out quite nicely on this side. Um, I mean, there is a bit of a line there. And then going back in with that flat brush, I am tapping off the excess because I have got some fallout. I'm gonna pack it right in the outer corner. Just to really lay that color down and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Mm, even with packing it down on this side, I'm still getting that patchiness right through the center there. I mean, hopefully the camera is showing it up, but there's certainly a real patch in the center there that's more like lighter toned than the rest. And it is sort of happening on this eye, just in the outer corner as well. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but um, certainly if you're looking at purchasing this, definitely something to keep in mind. Shall we try some pressed glitter? I think we shall. So this is the gold, this is the pink. Mm, mm, I wanna try the pink. I'm going to try it on this eye. Oh, oh my God. Okay. 
yeah, they're not playing when they say that this stuff sticks. Like, it's definitely sticking to the lid there. What a gorgeous formula. Much better than a lot of press glitters that I've tried. Much better. Always a good idea to see if these kinds of formulas do work with a brush. Um, I like to make sure that you guys know everything. So I've just got a flat dry brush. I'm going to try picking some of that up. Yeah, you don't really get anything happening there. I mean, you get a little, but not a whole lot. Now, before we match the other eye, um, I do want to dive into these Jelly Mite shadows because I do want to test one of these out and show you guys how these go as well. So there are six shades of these. Um, I will show you guys the swatches on screen, of course. Ooh, the formula of these look very interesting. It's like a... Oh, oh my God. It's like a full-on mousse. Oh, but there's so much pigment. Ooh, that's like a duochrome one. This one here that I'm playing with is called Late Bloomer. They all look slightly different to each other, to be honest. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, these are gorgeous. Look at that. It is absolutely insane. Pretty much it's like a chrome, you know, cream eyeshadow. That would be the best way to describe what these are. This one here looks like more of a hot pink. What is this one like? Oh, it looks like it's got gold in it as well. Colourpop. I'm not... I don't really like the packaging. Um... I mean, they're color-coded. Each of them are color-coded to match the color that's inside, but I find that they look a little bit cheap. I prefer the white packaging, the original packaging. And they also do come with these little, like, sealed lids on the inside. Oh, <gasps> Look at that one, you guys. Oh, my God. That's just... You can't do that to me. You can't expect me to be able to survive something like this. Why? Now, the idea behind these is that you're supposed to be able to apply them without needing to wet your brush, without needing a primer, and they are meant to dry down to a powdery finish. So I'm just taking a dry brush, and I've picked... Ooh, it takes quite a lot. Pick up... Go in easy, because you'll end up with a lot of these shadows on your brush. So I've got a little bit here. And I'm going to try applying this. These would be a really, really great product to cut the crease with if you're someone who loves doing cut creases. Very easy to apply, very easy to blend, but it doesn't look as pigmented as it does, you know, in the actual product container. Like, it doesn't look as full on on the lid. Oh, it might be better now. That's a really nice, pretty pink color too, isn't it? I mean, that's the swatch there of that one on my hand. Let's try this slightly lighter pink. This one is... Oh, sorry. I didn't even tell you what shade that was. That was Doves and Roses. Oh, the names in this is so pretty. This one here is Close to You. This one looks insane. It's so... Like, there's so many different colors in there. Like, purple, pink, gold. Oh, I love it. Look at that. It's so metallic and reflective. Like, are you even kidding? Oh. Yeah, really, really, really nice cream eyeshadow formula. Really nice. I'm really looking forward to um, actually playing with these a little bit more, testing them out more, trying all of the shades on my eyes. From what I've tried so far, really impressed. So we've got two quite different eye looks going on here. I do have to film after this video. Yeah, so what I might do is I'll quickly make them match off camera and then pop some lashes, mascara, all of that on and then we will move on to the blushes and the lipsticks. All right, eyes are all done. We're moving back on to um, what we'll do, the blush first and then we'll do the lipstick. So six new shades um, have come out as part of this spring collection. Um, they're all really, really beautiful. I will show you the swatches here on screen. I mean, they do sort of, to me, all look quite similar except for this really sort of um, super pink one here tuned in. But they're beautiful flattering colors. And um, like I said, I love the Super Shock Cheek um, formula. It's so beautiful on the skin. It reminds me... Using this as kind of like, 
I guess like airbrushing, if you've ever had airbrush makeup or you've seen airbrushing makeup, um, it leaves the most beautiful color on the skin, but without adding any texture or without adding anything like like powdery or glittery or shimmery to the skin like it literally looks like there's just color pigment it's beautiful it lasts all day long i absolutely love them probably my favorite shade out of all of the um, new spring blushes is this one here count me in it's like a really pretty soft pinky mauvey kind of a color um i just feel like it would be flattering on anyone but let's try it on me first so i'm gonna work that into the skin Oh, it's so soft and natural. See how it kind of adds color, but it doesn't add any texture to the skin. I probably am not making any sense right now. <laughs> like it really just adds beautiful, beautiful color to the skin without being too over the top, without being, you know, like emphasizing texture, without being like super shimmery. Um, and I do find that they last really, really well on my oily skin also. Um, they've got heaps and heaps and heaps of blushes in this formula. Um, you know, it's definitely a formula that I recommend. You don't even necessarily need like these spring ones. Just have a look at the Super Shock Cheek um, formulas. They're gorgeous. So that is what that one looks like on my skin. It looks a little muted, to be honest, because, you know, the eyes are so intense and so full on. So maybe we'll grab, maybe we'll grab that super pink one tuned in and we'll give that one a go as well. I feel like this one, yeah, this one is like super pigmented. Um, definitely going with a light hand for sure. Now I am just quickly going to pop a little bit of highlighter on to finish this off all right so moving on to the lipsticks six new shades here guys um majority i mean they're very similar color tones to all of the other products in this collection obviously it's a spring collection so it's going to be all spring inspired shades and um, these do look so 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 beautiful um i'm a huge fan of this formula i've tried the luxe lipstick formula before it's really really super creamy it's really long lasting and it feels like it feels very lightweight on the lips and very comfortable to wear um Shall I choose a color that's a little bit different? Let's go this one here, You're Thriving. So the packaging of these is just stunning. It's the same matching packaging as the rest of the lipsticks. And then I'll show you the actual bullet. Um, and then we'll have a quick look at the swatches and then we'll pop this bad boy on. So the actual bullet, it looks like this. It's like a rose gold with little stars all around. It's got color pop on, it's very pretty. And then the actual lipstick itself has stars on it too. It's such a cute idea. I love these lipsticks. So here are all of the shades, guys. Um, you know, corals, pinks, movie kind of tones. We've got one sort of deeper, darker one that is tea time. Um, Spring Rolls, very pretty. Moody Bloom is also very, very pretty. We've got one sort of ready toned one, quite a coral, a deeper red. Mostly, you know, purpley, pinky kinds of tones though. All right, I'm going to take your thriving and we're going to put this on. It's so, like, these have got so much pigment in them, honestly. They're just full on. You definitely don't have to worry about, you know, applying a whole bunch of coats. Um, you're going to get full payoff first go. This color is stunning. It is such a pretty color. Maybe a little intense with the eyes, but we're going with it today. I do find these bullets very easy to use as well. Like, normally I go in and correct um, with a little lip brush, but to be honest, I don't even feel the need to with this. It's a very, very pretty color. Probably wouldn't recommend wearing it with such intense eyes. It's probably for me, this would be more of like a, you know, like a, a clean winged eyeliner, lots of lashes, um, sort of a lipstick, but it is beautiful. I'm going to take a little of spring roll as well, because this is more of like a pinky nude. And I'm going to rub that just in the center to create a very soft ombre look. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. So there you have it, guys. Those are all of my thoughts on the brand new ColourPop Spring Collection. Um, if I had to choose one standout product um, from the entire collection, look, to be honest, probably these Jelly Much Shadows. I do really, really love the eyeshadow palette. It's really, really pretty. But I did have some trouble with that deeper, darker shade. So it's not like a solid 10 out of 10 for me on this one. All of the other colors in this are beautiful, though. The pigmentation, the blendability, um, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. But 
I can't give it like a solid 10 out of 10 because this one here is a little bit problematic. Um, but these Jelly Much shadows, honestly, they're so pigmented. Um, they just apply so easily. They apply so well. I'm just, I'm really impressed with these. And it is so bizarre how they dry down to like such a powdery finish. It's very, very interesting. I am going to be wearing um, this makeup look for the rest of the day. If I do have any issues with flaking or fallout or creasing or just things going like horribly wrong. I will definitely let you guys know in the description bar down below, but for now, holy hell, impressed. The blushes are all gorgeous. I'm already a huge fan of that formula. The lipsticks are all gorgeous. I'm already a huge fan of this formula. So for me, the new spring collection definitely gets a big thumbs up. Um, it's so down my alley, the color tones, um, you know, just the packaging and just, oh, I loved this one. This is definitely probably one of my favorite ColourPop collections ever. All right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got any more questions in regards to this collection, um, let me know. Oh, I also actually, I've forgotten to give you the prices of the other products. The blushes are $8 each. The lipsticks are $7 each. And these new Jelly Much shadows are $8 each as well. So... There are all of the prices, but yeah, if you've got any other questions, please pop them in the comment section down below. And yes, I love you all so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you all very soon.